Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And today I want to answer one of the most commonly asked questions we get on this channel, and that is, how do I buy an abandoned storage unit online? So I get asked all the time, where do I buy them at? How do I get them for so cheap? What to look for? Blah, blah, blah. So many similar questions. So today, I figured let's go ahead and get online and show you guys just how easy buying a storage unit really is. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So first, we're going to start off with the best storage website of all time in my opinion that's called storage treasures in my opinion this is by far the absolute easiest so go to google type it in go right to their website and i think it just makes this the easiest so when you first get here you're going to see where all these auctions are if you're on the east coast you're in luck or if you're in california you're in luck even in the middle of the country even a little bit in canada they're all over the place Anyway, you want to register as an auction buyer, not an auctioneer or storage facility. And once you go here, just enter all your information and make an account with them. You are going to have to put in either a bank card or a credit card because they do charge a buyer's premium right to your card. So when you win an auction, you're going to be charged on your card with a 15% buyer's premium along with 10% of the unit's cost. So, for example, if you buy a $100 unit, you're going to have instantly $15 charged to your account on buyer's premium, and you're going to have 10% of the unit charged to your account. So you're going to get a $25 charge, and you're going to then be responsible for the other 90% of the unit once you get there, which would be $90. So there are some hidden costs in storage units, but I'm going to go ahead and log in since I already have an account, and then we'll go from there, and I'll show you just how easy buying a storage unit really is. It's so simple. So once you get here, you want to go up here to the search bar and search your zip code, mine is 22310, and search it up. And once you get in here, you can decide exactly how far you want to travel. Since we have a car, a lot of our storage units do take multiple trips, so we don't like to go more than 50 miles. But if you have a van or something, hey, more power to you. Go out there. And then search it up. And then you'll get all storage units. They order them and when they're going off, the, like the soonest going off to the furthest. And as you can see in our area, these are all going off within the next day. That's how many auctions we have in our area. That's why we're able to do so many videos. A lot of people are not going to have this if you're not in the city. All of those, okay, up to there, we're all in just the last day. Now, if you want to filter what you're looking for, you have options over here. You can look for units with books, boxes. They even have guns, knives, and weapons, and sports, toys, all kinds of things. And if what you're looking for is not on there, you can always put it in the search bar. Like for me, I put safe in here all the time because I'm always looking for units with safe because I think they're really exciting. So you can literally just type in safe, go down here, update results, and then boom, it'll tell you units only that they've marked with safe. Now, now that you've picked the unit you want to look at, you want to hit view auction details, and you'll come right into this screen. So first thing you'll notice is there's pictures on here. There's only four of this one in particular. There's always going to be one of the number here. I think that's for the auctioneering companies, but you don't need to pay attention to that. You'll have pictures here. This is only a little tiny unit, so that's why there's only three. If you have a bigger unit, expect quite a few pictures. Some of them have like 12 to 15, but you can see all different angles of the unit. You can see some books, that Nike box right there, so it's kind of interesting me. And it looks like that's a bag under the clothes to me, like a purse. So who knows what could be in there but after you've done all that you'll look over here you're gonna see some details on the unit you can see that this one is a five by five the cleaning deposit is a hundred dollars I get a lot of questions about that they usually range from 50 to 250 average I would say they're usually a hundred bucks though and what that is is basically a cash fee you pay before they'll give you access to the unit so that if you don't clean it out they take it you can't just go through the unit and say I want this 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 you keep the trash because if you do that they are snatching your hundred dollars and right under that, you'll have how long you have to clean it out, 48 hours. Sales tax, I put that there because a lot of times you buy out of state. Like we're Virginia, Virginia, Maryland sales tax is different. So it is good to have that there. And it's very simple. And this is where your keywords will come in. This one they marked as clothes and shoes. I don't even see any shoes for sure. We see a shoe box. But for all we know, that could be paperwork in there. But they will try to, some facilities will mislabel this stuff. So make sure you look at the pictures yourself. And if you, there's a, I've seen shoe boxes that are obviously full of paperwork. You could tell even in the picture. And they still label it with shoes. So make sure you do look at the pictures and make sure you get an idea of what you're actually bidding on. And lastly, I want to show on here, you can go to your account up here in the top corner. And you have right here a list of all the different auctions you bid on. It keeps track of all that for you. And over here, you can add units to your watch list, like the one we we're just looking at. 
We also got this one on a watch list, just a little one. I like, you guys know I like going through the little ones. They're easy to clean up and you never know what they're gonna have in there. And I'm also the high bidder on this one. Luckily, all these units go off right before we're gonna put out this video so nobody can bid me up. Strategy. But it makes it really simple. And if you wanna look at all the auctions you've actually won, how much you paid, you go here, because if you're uh, actually reselling, you do probably want to keep track for tax purposes. So you can come here and look at all the different units you bought. It'll keep track of them and tell you the final bid every single time, which is really, really useful instead of having to keep your own spreadsheets and things like that. So they definitely make that easy. Now, another great website is storageauctions.com. You just Google it. I have it bookmarked right there, but just Google storage auctions and you'll find this website. And again, it's very similar to storage treasures, but some facilities prefer storage auctions, some prefer, uh, facilities prefer storage treasures. So always make sure you check both. Come on over here and put in your zip code again. Search it, I'll do 60 miles and search. See right now we have none, but you can always increase that. So we can see if we have any within 90. Still none, let's see if we have any within 120. There we go. And this one's just again, really similar. You click on the unit you're interested in. Stanton, Virginia, that's a nice area. I love visiting over there. If you live over there, you're lucky. But you come here and they have a lot of pictures here. Unfortunately, a lot of these are smaller pictures though. But this website does give have the feature to where you can hover over it and use the scroller on your mouse and zoom up on these pictures. A little bit is blurry. The pictures aren't the best, but that's how it's done. And all over here, you see the address. You can plug it into your GPS, see how far it is. And they tag these as well with footage. And over here, this will be, uh, uh, depending on what state you're in and what storage facility, they'll give you different information there. How long you have to clean it out. See, this one only has a $50 cash clean out deposit, even though it's way bigger than that little one. That little one was 100, this one's 50. But this one's in the country, the other one is in the city. So it also depends a lot on your area. Now there's two more websites I want to talk about even though I don't use them much because they don't post very many auctions in my area. The first one is Bid13. A lot of people do love Bid13 and I think they have a great site and the way they do it uh, set up is very well. They just don't post many, very many auctions in my area. But when you click on an auction, they not only have pictures, they actually have a YouTube video for pretty much every single auction where they go through every little corner, crevice, behind everything and just show you the entire thing so that you know that there's absolutely nothing hiding from you. So this website's definitely great, but a lot of these auctions are also out in the country side areas. In the city areas, you don't see much. I have to go within like 150 miles to even see any units up for sale on this website. But it's definitely a good one too. The next one is Locker Fox. Again, just Google it, but it's also a really good site. You just come here, sign up if you don't have an account, and then you can view auctions. Pretty similar to the rest, but again, we just don't have very many in our area. You can find one you're looking for, how much time's left. Go ahead and view the details on it if you want to. And boom, there it is. Nev more pictures below it says. You can see there's mattress, kids toys, number, and just how much stuff you're really dealing with. Make sure you pay attention to that stuff because sometimes pictures can be deceiving. You can get there and it can be a lot less than you thought or more likely than not, a lot more than you thought. So make sure you pay attention. Now that's how you do online auctions. Now if you want to do live auctions, the thing I'd rep recommend the most is Auction Zip. They do have a website, but their phone app is actually a lot easier than their website because you can look at it on the go. But it's pretty much the same thing, I'll show you. You go to Auction Zip here, you put in your zip code, you put in the distance you want to travel, we usually keep it at 50, and you want to hit storage auctions here, unless you want to look for other stuff. They have land art auctions, farm, automobile auctions, equipment options, all kind of stuff. But we're gonna look for storage auctions for the sake of the video. And then you're gonna hit search. And you'll pop up with a calendar here. Now this uh, tracks your online auctions and your live auctions. You see the red ones are online auctions and the blue means live auctions. So if you click online, you're probably gonna get redirected to the pages we just talked about, Locker, Fox, Storage Treasure, something like that. But if you wanna see live auctions, you click on the blue link. So say auctions and then they'll list them out here. And this one's only one here in Dumfries. If you want more details here, you're gonna sit here, view full listing, and boom, it'll tell you exactly when. January 24th at 11 a.m., there's the address. It does, this one unfortunately doesn't list out how many units, but a lot of times they will list how many units at the time. Look at that, there's even a 1997 Lincoln Town Car, four door sedan. That's pretty interesting. There's not usually cars in them anymore. Lastly, I do wanna talk about the auctioneer websites yourself. 
The one I love here is Severn River Auctions. Now they only do auctions in I think Delaware, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, and DC. So if you're in those areas, definitely check out Severn River because they're definitely, in my opinion, the most professional and their website is the best kept up. But if not, I just wanted to include this because I want to say that you should always ask your auctioneers when you get there. Ask them where they work for and a lot of times their goal is to try to get as many people to come as possible so they get paid the most. So they will gladly give out their websites and things like that. All right, guys, so I hope that helps you out. It really is just that simple to buy an online storage unit or a storage unit live. We get flooded with these questions every single time we put out a storage unit video. So I figured it'd be a good idea to make a video and just address all the questions we get. If you have any specific questions that wasn't answered in the video or weren't answered in the video, I guess is the better way to put it. It's late. I'm tired. Let me know in the comments down below. We'll definitely try our best to answer all those questions. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time and if you do want to follow us on our social media links let me know on screen just click the links down in the description below make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out